I, I'm one of those things, ooh, I'm not a thing. I'm one of these people that <laughs> you can actually tell, um, I think sometimes they call it splitting. We're, my mood can shift so fast. It's unreal, unbelievable, okay? You, when you do things to encourage people, some people want to say you're a motivator speaker. Some people say, who are you to try to help somebody when you have your own issues? But let us think about something. There's a lot of us. There we go again with that plural thing. I am one of those people that went to school for basic Christian counseling. I do a lot of counseling of children, teenagers rather. And because of my issues, even though I went to be a, a ordained minister, I cannot function in that. I will not function in that because of my issues. However, if I can put something up here to encourage someone, that means the world, not to me, but probably to that person, that someone took time out of their day to share a word. They always ask, yeah, during this, certain churches, during this pandemic, how many people have you ministered to? How many of y'all did outreach with your mask and your coverings on? How many people went to try to teach somebody? I never say anything. Okay, because I know what I do, they will classify, not classify it as anything. But I am going to read up on something a little bit more because I found something because I was looking up on ministry. And um, you have ministers of music. They don't, they don't use their mouth, their words. And there's all different types of things. And I ran across this thing, which was quite interesting. And yeah, I don't know how to see this thing. Explaining your concept of ministry. Now, y'all probably wonder, what is this for? This is actually for me because I am so tired of people telling me I'm wasting my time. How can I help somebody and I can't help myself. Now, some of y'all would say, is she serious? Did she just actually say that? And she know that she had put some things up here that it has been encouraging to people? Well, guess what? How would I know? I just do what I think that I do what I think I do. I can't even say what I do best, okay? But I know I'm encouraging myself by sticking to my challenge as far as the 60-day sit-up, think of a jig. But I want to read this. This was very interesting. And somebody could tell me, you know, oh, you never thought of it like that? Neither did I. Okay. Most of us think of ministry as the one done by pastors, missionaries, Christian conference speakers, or evangelists. We rarely think of work done by bankers, lawyers, engineers, or homemakers. We typically believe that those who get their paychecks from the church or other Christian organizations are the ones who do ministry, while the rest of us are those to whom ministry is done in this session. Okay, that's this is a teaching thing. So, in saying that... You have bankers, lawyers, engineers, homemakers, musicians, 
and stuff like that that they classify does ministry. If I wanted to really get into that, I would. But that sort of kind of helped me not feel the way that I was feeling when the statement was made. How and what makes you think you can do something for somebody and you can't do it for yourself? This is why I tell you people, and I don't like to say it like that. I encourage y'all. I tell you that I'm proud of you. Take the next step. Don't let nobody browbeat you. Don't let nobody put you down. And guess what? What am I doing? I'm allowing someone who I look up to to make me feel like crap. So, hmm, what I need to do? Eat my own words, right? I'm focusing on y'all. I want, I want y'all to have a life worth living. I'm working towards a life worth living. But in the eyesight of the critic or critics, I'm not doing what they think I should be doing. Your family may feel as though that you are not doing what you're supposed to do. You can't do take care of your children. You can't even hold down a job. It's always what you can't do. How many times your so-called people in your circle has told you all the good that you can do, all the talents that you have? How many? So when they start to browbeat you, and if you value the friendship, don't say anything. If you could care less about the torture, no, wait a minute. If you could care less about how it may make them feel, just be mindful in how you say it. Let them know you are talented and you are gifted and you can help others in spite of what you're going through. Now, if they want to walk out your life, let them. Or as I, I'm giving you the invitation. You can't deal with it. Leave me alone until I get insulted on here to the point it makes me break down where I cannot handle it. That's the only way, the only way that I won't come back on here until I get my head back straight. Okay. That's all I have to say. Please, please, I encourage you. Don't let your doctors browbeat you or make you feel less than a woman or less than a man. Don't do it. You have quality. You're special. All of us are special. We all have unique talents. We all have unique ways. We just have to shine and stop being afraid because we may have a moment and then we shut down because we don't know what's what. Don't be afraid. And try not to be too apologetic.